Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This is a weekend reading for the Libra friends out there. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading for today is for you Libra. This is a weekend reading. What can I get for Libra please? What is the love message and general situationship message for you Libra? This is the weekend reading, okay? My shuffle. Before I start, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you are interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, check out the description box below Libra because in there you will find the details of my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. All other services that I offer outside of YouTube is is or can be found uh, via our website. It's www.sunshine-tv.com. Okay? So in today's reading, Libra, we will be looking at um, love messages that um, that is available for you to know and meant for you to know this weekend. We'll start with singles who's dealing with an ex. Singles was dealing with someone recent or current. And then uh, this is if you're dealing with someone in the past, you know, um, someone from last year and then general situationship energy. Okay, let's start your reading. So if you're dealing with, uh, if you're single and you're dealing with someone, uh, what did I say? I forgot. This is someone last year that is, I think, I think this is an ex. Okay. Anyhow. All right. So I really feel like this is an ex. Hmm. Page of Cups, Four of Wands. Okay. Um. Yeah. Page of Cups, Four of Wands. I think you're dealing with an immature ex. There is, there's also an ex element in here. Okay. Um, let's get more cards. You've got a page of cups, the four of wands. What is the page of cups? This is, is this is Libra dealing with an X. Okay. Eight of swords. This is Libra dealing with an X. What's the further message, please? I think this person abandoned you. Okay. Um, this X, they have abandoned you together with your kids. And... I'm really getting like this person if you're dealing with an ex or manifesting with an ex this is an ex although i'm being drawn also to look at this reading as an ex reading although i put in the beginning that this is someone in the past like last year connection um yeah anyhow i'll interpret whatever message i'll pick up okay so you've got an ex who abandoned you. If you've got kids, they abandon you. If you don't have kids, you have an ex who they have abandoned you. They've switched places. For some of you, you guys break up or separated because they move. They abandon the relationship because they move abroad. You are the one who there's so many eyes on you. Okay, eyes on your relationship. Look at that. Um, if you look at the sword, this looks like an eye. So, I get that this person is going to play stupid. Page of Cups. This ex will play stupid in the sense that they will act like nothing happened. You know, they will act and they will talk like they did something heavy towards you. Something, something really hard to forget. They have hurt you in... In a, in a in a very deep level but they act like they didn't hurt you or they they act and talk foolish for some of you you never got an apology with this person and yet here they are trying to reconcile there's definitely a romantic energy in here page of cups foolish this person is acting foolish they're trying to get your attention but you're like you've got friends or family 
or you're hesitant to accept them because that's not what you want to hear because they romanticize you, you know. Page of Cups, the Four of Wands. They romanticize you. They say, I miss you, blah, blah, blah. But they never went into... They didn't... They were not really hitting the... You know, it's a person who betrayed you. It's a person who cheated on you. It's a person who gave up on you. And somehow, I feel their energy. They're going to return or they have a return already. They're romanticizing you. I miss you. But they never really give you an apology. And there was never a closure in your past. They were just back, you know. They were just back and connecting or reconnecting with you. But they never really explain why the hell they left you. Because you're kind of asking questions towards this person. You want to give them a chance, but they, there's a lot of unanswered questions. For some of you, this is not just an ex, but um, a person who you were coupling. You're acting like a couple, but you're not. So they abandon you. So I see April month, this person is, this person is going to come back around. They're acting foolish. They're acting stupid. They're acting silly. You know, they're not talking about the stuff that happened in the past. It is as if they're avoiding to talk about something happened in the past. They just really want to jump into reconciliation, into the romantic side, which is you. No, that's not right. For you, it's not balanced to so just reconcile, to just connect without, you know, without healing the past, without talking about the past. So watch out for this energy. It is quite heavy. And then the second reading is if you are dealing with someone recent or current, okay? Like this is um, this year, okay? Ace of Swords in reverse, Knight of Cups. If your intuition is telling you that there's something wrong with this person, if your intuition is telling you they're inconsistent, you feel like they're hiding something, you feel like they're just bored, you're probably right. You're dealing with someone who's on and off, who is actually not ready to, con to connect with you emotionally. It is a feeling that they're trying to get back into the romantic. They're, they're trying like guinea pig. You know, this person, they've been heartbroken in the past or they're, they're looking for like hookups or rebound. And... They're testing the water with you, which is unacceptable, unacceptable because you're not a guinea pig. So, if your intuition is telling you that this person is no good, don't invest because they are they are not coming solid. You know, this weekend it's telling you there's some obvious, you know, read between the lines or something obvious about the way they talk and the way they communicate and the way they action to you that they're they're not up. <clears throat> they're simply like casual. They're just bored, something like that. So don't invest too much. Don't expect. I mean, um, it's not, it's not, it's not feeling like it's real, or it's not feeling like it's going to go anywhere. It's, it's gonna, it's gonna fade or drift away. I think for some of you, it has already started drifting away or pulling, you know, pulling away from you. So. It's, it's no point to invest with someone who is not available to connect emotionally. All right. Then the last reading in love this weekend, Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Swords. I told you in the beginning that there is an, also an element of an ex in here. Um, your ex from last year and five years from last, five years ago and last year, you have an ex. They're stalking you. And, um... Also, this is, if you're single and dealing with someone in the past from last year, they're stalking you. Someone is stalking you. They've been stalking you since January. And then um, they will, I see around the month of May and June, around the month of, month of May and June, they will try to reach out. Um they've been looking looking up on you online i feel like may and june they would reappear they're still holding the swords downwards so i'm hearing the word shut their foot um 
I think you will try to connect or reconnect. You will have some sort of conversation with this person around the month of May and June. And in those conversations, you would discover or they will reveal something surprising. Like you will cut, you will cut the person. You will cut them. You will cut them with something. Or they will finally admit that there was a third party or there was a multiple dating. There's some dirty revelation um, May and June on why they weren't able because they weren't able to give you the ace of pentacles okay so they will admit that May and June there's a revelation they will test if you can accept them and then general opportunity the death card um, maybe it's time for you to have a confession if you're very religious or some if you're religious or some sort of practice that you're doing, um, um, there's something that you need. I don't know if you're Catholic, but Lent, Lent season, you've got to sacrifice something in order to be healthy or in order to get something. But I feel very tired in here. It looks, it looks dark. Maybe you need to, <clears throat> if you're feeling like you're not, you're not in touch with your spirituality, it's, and it's time to feed your soul. Okay, I don't know what practice you do to feed your soul, to feel connected internally with your soul. But you need to do some soul searching or soul healing. Yeah. Soul searching, soul healing. There's something about weekend that's telling you to, to look at your spirituality. Because you're not happy, you're always angry. You know, Ten of Cups. There's something with your well-being, mental, emotional, and spiritual that you need to look into. Because in the eyes of the people around you, it seems to be you're lonely, happy. And they feel it. And you feel it also. This is a red flag. You need to check on this. You know, you need to start to clean up or maybe, I don't know, I feel like. You need to go as a cleanse diet or something to do with connecting to your spirituality. Because it doesn't make you happy. And that's not good. So this weekend, prioritize yourself. Be connected to yourself so that your highest desire is delivered to you. Alright, so that's quite heavy. I hope you're well. So guys, take care of yourself more than anybody. The best investment in yourself. So thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.